This is it. This is the final. This is for all the coin. Only one person is going to walk out of here with this Snowcross gold medal. And who is it going to be? Well, these are the 10 guys in the final. Well, obviously the big, big guy to watch, Tucker Hibbert. But one person I was really surprised with and really impressed with, Adam Renheim checked out on his semifinal. And really, if he gets a good start, he could put something to Tucker Hibbert. Renheim did have a great run. You know, another guy we got to look at is Cody Cam, Ross Martin, Tim Tremblay. Those guys are always, always up there. So we'll see if they can handle, if they can give Tucker a run for the money. Well, Tucker's got that great winning percentage, and if he wins here, this will be the octopede. It will be eight in a row for gold medals. That is going to be an incredible feat. Let's see if anyone can beat that one. But right now, let's check in with Jamie Little, who's down with Tucker. Tucker has not lost since 2006. Tucker, same game. Will you do anything different for the final? I want to have a race just like that in the heat race. I want to get a good start. Get out front early. This track is gnarly. So just want to get out early and have a good race. Stay out of trouble. All the talk is about how rough it is, and this race will be twice as long as the heat races. Test. Uh, thanks, Jamie, and hey, you know, he, he said it. If Tucker Hibbert is saying the track is gnarly, you know the track is gnarly. So he's got Renheim lined up right next to him. He won that other heat. He says that the rough track reminds him of the, what he races in Sweden, so it actually feels pretty familiar to him. This is definitely a rough track. You know, hopefully he can get out in front of Tucker and, and stay out in front of him for a little while. Uh, Tucker, look at that. He's so intense, so ready to get that launch because he wants to get into that uphill first. This is Monster Energy Snowcross final. Another great start with Tucker. Oh, uh, he managed to squeeze through. How did he get through that? Ross, right Ross, charging. Mark. Come on, Ross. I thought Ross was going to come out in front there. No idea how Tucker managed to find that. He finds these, like, tiny little spaces to get himself through. Another thing I saw was Renheim. It looked like he had engine problems off the start. Fell back right away, so unfortunate for him. So and unfortunate for the competition. Tucker with another full shot. But what we know is the track is incredibly rough. It's 20 laps of just pounding on the machine and the body. And because it's a short technical track, Tucker will get into traffic a lot earlier. That's right, you know, we can see Tucker already kind of pulling away on Ross, but look at that track. I mean, it is rough out there. He's doing everything he can, and, I mean, it might come up and bite him. We'll have to see. Well, we've seen a few, you know, good races. Cody Cam, great example, had that misstep on the downhill where he actually almost fell off the right-hand side of the track. So, by no means is this a given for anyone. This is definitely a track that you're going to have to minimize your mistakes to be consistent and fast. That's right, you see Cody Cam and Justin Grover, teammates, battling for that third place position. You know, that I know that they're both teammates, but at the end of the day, it's a medal. I mean, that's what sets them apart. It's huge, you know, you, you just get used to it, you get acclimated. I mean, it's really tough when you come from, you know, the Midwest, from more close to the sea level. You have a tough time once you get out here in Aspen with just your air, getting air to your lungs and getting breathing. So with Tucker staying out here, getting acclimated, you can really see here when he's out in these later laps that he just keeps charging. And when you come here to Aspen just, you know, as a, as a tourist or when we come for X Games, you know, you're over 8,000 feet. And even just walking up the stairs somewhere, you get out of breath. I mean, it really is incredible work. And to pound yourself for 20 laps like Tucker is, I can't believe how hard he's probably breathing right now. I think Tucker's feeling really good right now. He, he was really tied up in lap traffic. He's got through those. He's got a clean racetrack ahead of him. No roost. A little bit of shadows with, with, uh, with the sun here. Earlier in practice, we had flat lights. So I think the guys are really happy to have some sunshine on these jumps. Right now, he's just clear sailing. And Cody Cam, he was last year's Snowcross silver medalist. And right now, he's sitting in that silver medal position again. He had high hopes that he was going to get a chance because we know that Tucker Hibbert is not infallible. He's been beaten twice this year already. That's right, you know, and Cody is, is one of the guys that can do it. And right now, Cody's just charging. He's hoping that, you know, something happens up there with Tucker so he can get a little closer. But right now, he's running low on laps. Cody working the course. And Hibbert 
continues to charge down this Monster Energy Snowcross course. Now, you know, Levi, you were hoping to come in and contest. You've retired from Snowcross officially, but wanted to, to come out and give it a go here today. I, I wanted to, but after seeing this track, I don't know. I, <laughs> I don't mind sitting in here, I think. <laughs> and if you're, if you're just tuning in to uh, X Games for the first time, Levi Valley has not exactly had a sterling week. He was going for four gold medals, uh, had a, a little bit of a challenge in the speed and style competition, and then in the long jump, uh, well, you did a short jump, right? Yeah, it was definitely not the long jump. Unfortunately, he had a spark plug problem and caused me to, uh, to short it and bruise my, uh, bruise my heels. So, out of competition, but luckily we have Levi in the booth. So, white flag we saw flying there. So, we saw the white flag twice, which I think was a little bit of a mistake, but this is the last lap of racing. Tucker Hibbert, what can you say about this guy? Half his life has been spent at X Games racing snow.